Hello guys, this is Vacanvex, and today I'm going to share to you guys about how I do my noise cancellation inside of OBS. So personally, I usually record my stuff in a other software and I throw it into FL Studio, which is what I'm familiar with. And I do my processing, my my noise, can noise cancellation, etc. inside of those for my other videos because I don't usually record my, my audio in OBS. But when it comes to streaming, to YouTube streaming, to Twitch streaming, or maybe for VTubers, those kind of method won't work because it's post processing. It's not. It's not real time. So today I'm going to share about how I do my voice processing, my noise cancellation inside of OBS. Anyway, before we start getting into the how to and uh, some explanations, let's listen to a few ways that I know uh, of noise cancellation sounds like. Hello guys, this is Vacanvex and I hope you learned something from this video. Hello guys, this is Vacanvex and I hope you learned something from this video. Hello guys, this is Vacanvex and I hope you learned something from this video. Hello guys, this is Vacanvex and I hope you learned something from this video. So as you can hear, the first one is the audio input, directly input, no filter, no nothing. There's just the sound and it's noisy. It's noisy. It's super noisy. And the second one is actually from a VSD plugin. So for people who don't know, you can press this button right here, your microphone, where, wherever it is, press right click, click on filters, and you can add things in it. And there are some build built-in features, but most of them I don't recommend it to do too much because it's built-in. It's not going to be very good. But um, what the second one is is actually a VSD plugin. It's a audio plugin we use in maybe like a music production or maybe like Adobe Audion or something. It's a it's just a plugin for audios. And what I have here is, is this ReFIR. We're going we're going to talk about it later, but this is this is the second one and i think it's the best one and for the third we have this no noise suppression which is also which we can also add it from this tab here and it's built in with obs and there are two mod in here and just go with the default one because the other one sucks and i think it's okay but it kind of makes your sound a bit weird so i don't like this at all and for the fourth one, it was actually this, NVIDIA Broadcast. I think some people will know this app from some point. And um, it's kind of a okay app, I think. Kind of an okay software. It can filter out your microphone or your, your input output, everything's noise. And it can also just filter out your like, camera here. You can filter out, filter out a background to, to let you put yourself in somewhere and some, some people like this. And yeah, this is very powerful. But when you have this on, it will keep using your graphics card. Of course, it won't take like a huge part of it. But in my personal experience, if I'm streaming or recording a video and using this, it will make my game feels a bit laggy. Like it, it feels like it's skipping frames for my games. So I personally don't recommend this and I don't like this one at all. But um, it's it's still powerful. But I just don't think this is a perfect solution if you're just going for audio noise cancellation. So back with the topic of the ReFIR, where to download it? Here, this is from Reaper. You can just type um, this re plugs, and you can find this, and it's free. Everyone can download it, and there are a lot of VST plugins in it. For example, there's a compressor. And there's delay, there's EQ, and then there's the ReFIR here. This is what we're going to talk about today, mainly. So you download it, install it, and go back to OBS, open up the filter, add it, and select select your find the ReFIR standalone, click it, and here's the open plugin interface. So click it, and you will see something like this. When you start up, maybe it's it's not like this. You you, you need to switch it from here. It, it used to be like EQ, and you can switch it to this subtract mode. 
and then you will see this yellow line which is I'm speaking right now so this is my voice and the red line is actually what it is cancelling. So this red line is what it's filtering out. It's taking my voice into OBS and then filter out this red line and then output. And about how I create this red line, basically just simply click this automatic build noise profile and then it will start recording. So you don't want to move, you don't want to do any sounds when it's recording and just let it record for a few seconds, then press it again and turn off. For example, like this. Okay, so now we have a new profile and it's just that simple. Press it, let it record your environment, your background noise, and then click it off and it will start filtering out these kind of voices. And this is the reason why I think this is the best way to do noise cancellation in OBS because there's no heavy software, there's no, you know, jankiness. It sounds good and also it wouldn't filter out some noise that you might want to have that are maybe like small enough. For example, if I'm doing a ASMR stream today, then having this on will keep everything in the background filtered and I can still record in those ASMR sounds. But today, if I'm using the NVIDIA broadcast software, then they will detect all the ASMR, those you know, scratchy, those, those head petting sounds as noise and it will be filtered out. So for me, this is the way if you want to stay things clean and even if you today changes your environment maybe you're on you're, you're in a hotel or maybe even you're in a cafe you can still use use this and you just click it and then click it off again and then you there you have it you have a new profile so to me this is the simplest and uh, of course you have to download the vsd but it's free there's no you know not much to do it's pretty straightforward so to me this is the ultimate best way to do noise cancellation in obs and that's it thanks for watching and if you if you like this video leave a like and share it to everybody and because i don't see people talk about vst in obs very often and i think this is a very powerful tool and i just hope that this can make everybody's dream better sound better and do better and um, maybe there is also a lot of people not having a good environment. So this will help you a lot. But um, anyway, thanks for watching and this is Vacant Vex. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And um, that's it. Over and out.